Hi there, Angie with Green Style. Today we're going to sew the diamond pullover. Refer to page 8 in the instructions for the available pattern pieces. Today we are working with the color blocking pieces. These are the pieces you will need to cut. Cut one front, piece B1, on the fold. Make sure you cut out the notches. On the front, there will be single notches. Also, cut one back, or piece B3, on the fold. That will have double notches. You'll also need to cut two upper sleeves, or piece S2, as mirror images. You'll also need to cut two front side panels or piece B2 as mirror images and two back side panels or piece B4 as mirror images. Make sure you cut out the notches on both of those. You'll also cut two lower sleeves or piece S1 as mirror images. Finally, cut one neckband or piece C3 on the fold. Cut one hemband or piece C1 on the fold. And cut two sleeve cuffs, piece C2. Now we can start sewing. I forgot to cut out the notches on the lower sleeve, so I marked them with chalk using my pattern piece. Take the upper sleeve and match up the notch on the upper sleeve with the notch on the lower sleeve and pin across the upper straight edge. Repeat this for the other sleeve. Make sure you're lining up the notches. Pin both into place and sew across that upper straight edge. Now we can assemble the front and the back bodice. The front bodice has a single notch at the bottom and a lower neckline. Find the front side panel with the single notch and line that single notch up with the right sides together along that angled edge. Pin into place, making sure you line up the notches. Repeat for the other side. Now sew those straight edges with a stretch stitch. Now repeat this process for the back. The back will have a double notch at the bottom. Sew these seams with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and a stretch stitch. Now let's sew the sleeves to the front bodice. Locate the front bodice. Locate the front of the sleeve. Use the single notch on the sleeve and the single notch on the front bodice. Line these two pieces up with right sides together. Take your time to carefully line up the sleeve bodice at the color blocking seams. Remember that you will sew across that point at 3 8 of an inch seam allowance or 3 8 of an inch from the edge. Pin that section very carefully.
Sew these two seams with a stretch stitch at 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. I like to use my sewing machine to baste across that point where the two seams line up. It allows you to be a little more accurate and adjust if needed. Now we're going to sew the back bodice to the back of the sleeves. Do it in the same way we did the front. We're going to line up the double notches on the back of the sleeve with the double notches of the bodice. Now it's time to sew the side seams. Place the right sides together. Line up the sleeve and the side seams. Pin into place and stitch both the left and the right. After the side seams are sewn, give everything a good press and set aside. We're almost done. Now we'll sew the hem band, the sleeve cuffs, and the neck band. Fold the sleeve cuffs in half with right sides together and pin along that shorter edge. Take the neck band, fold it in half with the right sides together and pin along the short edge and repeat the process for the hem band. I like to sew these seams on my sewing machine with a straight stitch. That will allow me to open up the hem or the seam allowance and it creates less bulk when you fold it over. On the neck band, divide the neck band into quarter sections. I just marked the center front with little clips and I'm going to also mark two sections on the side. So it's now got little clips on four locations that are evenly distributed. Fold the neck band in half with a seam allowance open and pin it in a few locations to secure. Now take the bodice and mark the center front of the neckline and the center back of the neckline. I use little clips 
but you can also use pen or chalk or disappearing ink. And then I'm gonna line up the center front and the center back and find those two remaining even points and mark those. Now take your neckband, locate the seam, and line that up with the center back of the bodice. Pin that into place, and continue pinning those four equal sections that you've marked on both the bodice and the neckband. Using a stretch stitch or a serger, sew all the way around. Then press the seam allowance down, top stitch if desired. Now we'll sew the hem band to the bottom of the bodice. Grab the hemband, open the seam allowance, and with wrong sides together, fold it in half. Put a pin at the seam allowance to hold it in place. Mark the opposite edge of the hemband that will be placed at your side seam. Slip the hemband up over the bottom edge of the bodice, lining up the seam on one side and then the marked location on the other side seam. Pin those two locations and also pin center front and center back. Once you've got it pinned, sew all the way around with a stretch stitch. Press the seam allowance up and top stitch if desired. Finally, we'll install the cuffs. Take the two cuff pieces, fold them in half with wrong sides together, pressing the seam allowance open. Slip the cuff onto the bottom of the sleeve, matching up the seam of the cuff with the seam of the sleeve. Pin into place and repeat for the other cuff. Stitch the cuffs to the bottom of the sleeves using a stretch stitch. Now give the garment one final press and clip any extra threads and you're finished. Congratulations on completing your own 
green style diamond pullover. We would love to see your finished garment. So share on our social media, either our Facebook group or Instagram tagging green style. Thank you.